Hello, my dear friends. Welcome you all to one more useful presentation from Easy Walk to English Grammar. Today we will be dealing with adverbs of degree. As you know, adverbs are words that give us more information about uh, a verb, an adverb, or an adjective. Instead of the phrase giving more information, we can also use the word modify. Adverbs are the words that modify an adjective, a verb, or an adverb itself. Modify, the term modify, we can define it like that to give additional information about something. In this video, we will be looking into the uses of adverbs of degree. Of course, we'll be dealing with what are they and their purpose. Let's start. Uh, who is coming here? Oh, the tortoise is coming. Oh, slowly, slowly it comes to us. I think it's waiting for somebody else and let's check who it is. Oh, it was a rabbit. I think the tortoise has something to tell us about the rabbit. Let's check. The rabbit runs quite fast. Oh, the tortoise comments on the fastness of the running of the rabbit. The tortoise says us the rabbit runs quite fast. Let's look into the sentence. The rabbit runs quite fast. In this sentence, the red colored word quiet gives us additional information about the word fast, quite fast. And if we carefully observe the sentence, we can see that the word fast gives us additional information about the word runs. And it's quite sure that runs is the verb in this sentence. As the word fast gives us more information about the verb runs, it is an adverb. Fast is an adverb in this sentence. And what's the word, the red colored word quiet in the sentence? Quiet is also an adverb because it gives us more information about the word or about the adverb fast. And what kind of an information does the word quiet give us? It shows the intensity or degree of an action. It gives us the depth or measurement of the action. Quite fast. How much fast? Quite fast. Showing the depth or the intensity of that action. Let's go for a funny imagination. Imagine that the tortoise tells us like this. The rabbit and I were in a competition. The rabbit was so fast, I just missed the prize. Can you imagine the tortoise tells us like that? The rabbit was so fast, I just missed the prize. Here, if we closely observe these sentences, we can see that the red colored words so and just modify or give us additional information about the adverb fast and the verb missed respectively. And what kind of additional information do they give us? They show the intensity or degree of the action or the adverb. So first, just missed the intensity, the depth or the measurement of something, some adverb of some verb. So and just. Hope you understood the purpose of so and just in these two sentences. 
Let's go for some other examples. She plays the guitar excellently well. In this sentence, the word excellently modifies the adverb well. Well is an adverb of manner. My dear friends, if you would like to know more about adverbs of manner, we have a fantastic video in our channel Easy Walk to English Grammar. Please visit the channel and do watch the video. Coming back to our point here, well is an adverb of manner which modifies or gives us additional information about the verb plays. Plays is the verb in this sentence and well modifies the verb plays. What does the word excellently do here? The word excellently modifies or gives us additional information about the adverb well. What kind of an information does the word or does the adverb excellently give us? It shows the intensity or degree of an adverb in this sentence. Shows the depth or gives us the measurement of an adverb. Here we can see a girl finding difficulty in drinking water. Why? Because the water was extremely hot. She could not drink it because the water was extremely hot. What can we find in this sentence? In this sentence, the water was extremely hot. We can see that the word hot is an adjective because it modifies the noun or the noun phrase the water and the word extremely as it modifies or gives us extra information additional information about the adjective hot extremely serves the purpose of an adverb here as we discussed in the previous sentences the same kind of information does the word extremely give us here shows us the intensity or degree of an adjective hot the intensity or the degree extremely hot the depth or tells us about a measurement oh what happened to her is she in trouble She has almost done her work. My dear friends, there is nothing to be worried. She has finished with almost the major portion of her work. She has almost done her work and she is now relaxing by putting her head on her hands. In this sentence, she has almost done her work. What can we find with the blue colored word almost? Here the word almost is an adverb because it modifies the verb has done. In this sentence the verb is has done and the word almost gives us more information, additional information about the verb has done. As we saw in the previous sentences, almost shows the intensity or degree of an action. Gives us extra information about the intensity, the depth or the measurement of an, of an action in this sentence. And we can notice one more important thing in this sentence. Where do we place or where did we place the verb, uh, sorry, the adverb almost in this sentence? We placed the adverb almost in between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. If you would like to know more about auxiliary verb and main verb, there is a detailed video in this 
channel easy walk to english grammar please do visit the channel and watch the video and back to our point here the placement matters here the placement of the adverb almost matters here we placed it in between the auxiliary has and the main verb done in the sentence and it shows the intensity it means the a word or the adverb almost shows uh, the intensity or degree of an action what are these words quite so just excellently extremely almost being called in english they are called adverbs of degree why do we call them adverbs of degree because they show the intensity of degree of an action an adverb or an adjective i hope by this time you are okay with this point because we had dealt with a number of examples if you are still doubtful please repeat to watch the video i am sure that you'll definitely understand this point let's deal with some more adverbs of degree with the help of the three sentences that you see on the screen now the musical concert was amazingly interesting in this sentence amazingly is the adverb of degree uh, and it modifies the adjective interesting in the second sentence she danced unusually well the word unusually is the adverb of degree as it modifies the adverb well in the third sentence the movie was rather boring the word rather is the adverb of degree and it modifies the adjective boring what can we find in common in these three sentences related to the three adverbs of degree that we used if you closely observe these three sentences you can see that we placed the adverbs of degree amazingly unusually and rather just before the words that they modify immediately before the words that they modify in the first sentence we can see that the word the adverb of degree amazingly modifies the adjective interesting and we placed amazingly just before the word interesting the adjective interesting in the second sentence she danced unusually well the adverb of degree unusually modifies the adverb well and we placed unusually the adverb of degree just before the adverb well in the third sentence the movie was rather boring the word rather the adverb of degree rather modifies the adjective boring and we placed the adverb of degree rather just before the adjective boring from this we can come to a definition or a conclusion the conclusion that we can come into with the help of the previous examples is that adverbs of degree are usually placed before the word they modify but please notice the word usually in this definition it means that we cannot use all the adverbs just before the words they modify there are some exceptions we can deal with some of them in the further section of this video now we are going to deal with the adverbs of degree very enough and to the deer hopes very fast the word very is an adverb of degree it tells us the intensity or degree 
of certain adverbs or adjectives. It cannot be placed before a verb. It can only be placed in front of an adverb or an adjective. Let's check some more examples, some more sentences where we can use very along with this sentence. The woman is very beautiful. Here, beautiful is an adjective and we placed the adverb of degree very in front of the adjective beautiful. The deer hopes very fast. Fast is an adverb of manner in this sentence and we placed adverb of degree very in front of fast. His robe is very tidy. Tidy is an adjective and we placed the adverb of degree uh, very in front of the adjective tidy. New York is a very big city. Big city is a noun phrase and it serves the purpose of a compliment in this sentence and we placed uh, very just before the noun phrase big city. Dear friends, if you would like to know more about compliments, there are a number of videos in our channel Easy Walk to English Grammar which deal with subjects, predicates, compliments, objects, prepositional objects, etc. Watching these videos will help you a lot in improving your knowledge in English grammar. The man runs fast enough. In this sentence, we are going to deal with the adverb of degree enough. As you can see on the screen, the word or the adverb of degree enough modifies the adverb of manner fast. But contrary to the tradition that we followed in our previous examples, we placed the adverb of degree enough after the word that it modifies. Here it modifies the adverb of manner fast and we placed the adverb of degree enough after that word. In our previous examples you could see we placed the adverbs of degree before the words they modify but here we placed enough after the word that modifies. Let's look into some more examples. The tea is hot enough. As you know, the meaning of the word enough is as much it is needed, as much it is necessary. That is the meaning of the word enough. The tea is hot enough. It means that we can have that tea because it is uh, enough to our necessity. It is hot enough as it is needed for us. The tea is hot enough. The man runs fast enough that we dealt a little before. I got up early enough to raise the function in time. Early enough. The room is spacious enough. The room is spacious enough. It is up to our necessity. As much it is needed. It is spacious as much it is needed. In all these examples, we can see that we placed the adverb of degree enough just after the words it modifies. I hope you understood the use of enough, the placement of the adverb of degree enough. Wow, what can we see? An egg. Whoa, it broke. The eggshell is too fragile. Too fragile, easily breakable. It will easily break. 
too fragile. We are going to deal with the adverb of degree too. Let's check some more examples. The man is too tired. He cannot walk. He is too tired. The adverb of degree too is placed just before the word it modifies the adjective tired and it gives us a negative sense. Too tired. The tea is too hot. Once again, the adverb of degree too is placed just before the adjective it modifies the adjective hot. And it also gives us a negative sense. We cannot drink that tea because it is too hot. The boy is too arrogant. He behaves badly to others. Too arrogant. We cannot tolerate the behavior of that boy. We cannot put up with the behavior of that boy. He is too arrogant. Arrogant is an adjective and we placed the adverb of degree too just before that, just before the word it modifies and it gives us a negative sense. The back was too big. Big is once again an adjective and the adverb of degree too modifies the adjective big and we placed it just before the adjective that it modifies too big. And it also gives us a negative sense. The bag was too big. We did not want that much uh, big a bag. Too big. So that is the use of too, the adverb of degree. Too always gives us a negative sense when it is placed just before the words it modifies. Let's look into some other examples. I would like to visit my grandmother too. Here we can see we placed the adverb too after the word it modifies, grandmother, at the end of the sentence too. I would like to visit my grandmother too. The sense is that we have some other works. Along with that, I have to visit my grandmother too. In addition to other works, I have to visit my grandmother also. So that sense of in addition to is given by the adverb of degree to when it is placed after the word it modifies. Another example is, she needs a cup of coffee too. She wanted something else also or oh, she needs something else also along with those things she needs a cup of coffee also in addition to the other things she needs a cup of coffee also that is the sense of two when we place it after the word it modifies she needs a cup of coffee too one more example we want a car and a motorbike too. We want a car. In addition to that, we want a motorbike also. The sense of that also, the sense of that in addition to a car we need a motorbike is given by the adverb of degree too. When we need to give a sense of in addition to, we can use the adverb of degree to, T double O, after the word it modifies. When it is placed before the word it modifies, it gives us a negative sense. And when it, when it is placed after the word it modifies, it gives us the sense of in addition to. Hope you understood. Now we can move on to the exercise section for this video.
You can see some sentences on the screen now. She needs sweets and coffee. The first sentence. Second sentence is, Dev Anand is angry. Third, the food is cold. Fourth, the competition is dangerous. Fifth, the room is warm. What you have to do here is just add any of the adverb of degree that suits each of these sentences. And you can see the wonderful change that you bring into these ordinary sentences when you add an adverb of degree in each of these sentences. Please send your answers to our comment box, to the comment box of Easy Walk to English Grammar. The person who sends all the sentences correct will be chosen as the winner of this video and his or her name will be displayed or announced through our next video. While sending, please make it sure that you have given your full name and the place where you live or reside with your answers. That can also be displayed on the screen and can be announced through our next video. If there are more than one person who sends the answer correctly, the first person who sends the answer correctly will be chosen as our winner and his or her name will be given or announced through our next video. Please do participate in this contest. When you do these exercises of the videos, definitely it will help you to improve a lot in English language. Without your knowledge itself, unknowingly you can improve your English language. And when you participate in this contest, you can feel that the fear is going away from you. The fear to use English language confidently is going away. If you want to participate confidently in this contest, means if you want to send answers correctly in this contest, you need to watch the videos carefully. After learning all the rules related to a particular grammatical topic, you can easily participate in this contest. It is not just a participation in a contest. It will help you a lot in improving your language. That, that matters. That's the thing. That's the important thing that you can gain in your life. So please don't hesitate to participate. Watch the video fully. Try to understand each and every grammatical rules that we uh, dealt in this topic. And just send the answers. We'll wait and see who is the next winner. And if you like the video, please don't forget to give the video a like. And please share the video with your friends and relatives. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And while subscribing, please tap on the small bell icon and select the option All. Then you will receive the notification of my future videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please keep on supporting me in the future also. See you soon with a wonderful and useful video. Until then, take care. Bye for now.